I'll be fine. Listen, I owe you one. We find a way to get Penguin out of his uh, situation. Then we're gonna open up this crystal freeze like a can of tuna. He's here to save you, sorry ass.
can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. He can't get to Not while the lab's full of cryovapor. Think we're safe, so long as that cryo tank keeps pumping out vapors. We can't get in here with all that. Cryovapor. He still power in the tank. We'll chase your way out there. You're the Batman. There are power conduits running through the greenhouses. I should be able to disable them with a thermocharged batarang. I need to disable those two power conduits to stop that reactor leak. Then I need to ventilate the room of cryovapor. up the ice encasing that vantage.
Okay, I'm watching you from over here. Like this, you better tighten up your axe. How are we supposed to fight them if we can't find them? Another one? Oh, we look like fools! Don't worry, man. I'll get you out of here. Somehow. No way, man! Someone there?
someone there? I'm in shock, all right? I can't believe what I see. I'm in shock, all right? I can't believe what I'm seeing. God, Freeze took out the pain. And it looks like he drove off the path. Maybe this freeze... I'll need to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. Holy... Thanks. Thank you. I need the super coolant from Victor's lab to activate the cryo drill. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence.
Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Odd. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea. But this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was... Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The super coolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. 
I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Goth Corp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. This damn iceberg! You're good right where you are. But, but you can't leave me here! I'll freeze to death! Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape, you hear me? So will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident! You don't know what you're talking about! What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! 
You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. But because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Where are all the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. What the? You should be helping me, bad man, not fighting me. You can overload those cryogenerators using your thermal gloves. Look for the control panel. Here. This is a man 
and rewards in competence. I see him! Get your asses over here! Help! He's over here! He Do not test my patience! How did he escape? This is how the fat man rewards incompetence. Get me down! Get me... Get me... This man should have been more careful. Hang on! Hey, I'm getting sleepy up here. He's given away his position. What do you see? Who did this to our pal? Do not test my patience. how well you do when the air freezes in your lungs.
He's escaped. How did he escape? Where are the rest of you? Get in here and honor our bargain. Find him. Yes, Mr. Freeze. Search the area. That room is filled with ice formations, Master Bruce. I suggest you use them to your advantage. Find him! This is how the fat man rewards incompetence. Where are you? You need some help? Man should have been more careful. Talk to me. He's escaped. You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadow. Lost your resolve. Mine remains as strong as ever. Well, Batman, come out and do what you came to do. How did he escape? Get in! 
is escaped. You guys see anything? I lost There is. Do not disappoint me. Huh? How did we escape? Where are you? Prime objects, no progress, in danger. 
If I can get underneath him, I can take him from below. Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject, Nora Freeze, in danger. I'm on I've almost got you. You shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass the trial of Victor! She died! Oh. But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No. Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. You 
Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Feel free to turn in. I may patrol South Gotham for a while.